first candidate endorsed was Sophia Aragon. Or nominated for endorsement, rather, was Sophia Aragon. Sophia, would you like to, or, well, Chris, would you like to yield your time to Sophia? Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Sophia Aragon. I'm running for the open Senate seat here for the 34th Legislative District um, and for State Senate, and I would just love to serve this district and be um, there for you. I'm here today because of the opportunities I've had growing up here in the Seattle area. Um, my mother and my grandmother, after two years of just immigrating here from, to, from the Philippines with me, was able to cobble in enough money to buy a home just in time for my sister to be born. And when I tell that to people, they can't imagine that happening to people today, that kind of access to affordable housing. So that's why I'm also proud to, be, to have the sole endorsement of the Washington Low Income Housing Alliance, in which I am a board member, actively solving, um, looking for solutions for the affordable housing crisis in the Seattle area. The other, uh, the other priority I have is access to higher education, another reason why I'm here. Um, I'm a nurse um, by occupation. And it, that made me want to be an advocate, and I went on to law school where I used that education to be an advocate for universal health care for a decade in Olympia. So I want to bring that experience to you. Um, I've always known as a child that the Democratic Party was the party for me. I'm an Obama delegate. Um, I also caucus for Bernie Sanders. But in the end, I was proud to wear a pantsuit for Hillary Clinton. So I know that this is the party that provides opportunity for people. It's a party of inclusion, and this is a time where people and voters also want to have uh, legislators that represent them and that they could relate to them. So as an immigrant and a woman of color, I would love to represent the people of this district and the priorities that are most important to you. Thank you very much. Hope to have your support. Is there a speaker against? All right, we'll move on to the next one. The next candidate to be nominated was Lois Shipper. Chris, would you like to yield? I think we should give Chris a hand for doing all the heavy lifting tonight to do the nominations. So my name is Lois Shipper. I would just like to um, address some of the comments made by the chair. I'm not afraid of the Republicans. We have strong Democrats running in this district to do the right work. We all in this room represent democratic values. I think we have the power and we need to, you need to vote for whoever you think will bring your causes to Olympia. So I just wanted to say that. I'm not afraid of the Republicans. We're running on our values and I think those are gonna carry us. And don't... Okay, so I'm Lois Shipper. I've been a member of the 34th Dems for 10 years. I've been a PCO for 10 years. I was the diversity chair on the last exec board. I've been a public health nurse in White Center, West Seattle Burien for the last 20 years. I've seen the work that families have to do to survive. I've also seen good solutions. I've also seen challenges to that. That's why the first priority I want to work on is putting families and children first. No child should be sleeping in a car. No child should be sleeping on the street. And no child should go to bed hungry. The second point I want to make is I was had the um, privilege of being the Bond and Levy chair in the Highline District and running many successful Bond and Levy campaigns and understanding how education funding works and doesn't work. We're not done fully funding K-12. We need to look at the achievement gap. We need to look at fully funding special ed. And we need to support our educators. Highline is threatening not to give them a raise even though they just got this bolus of money. We need to be out there fighting on behalf of the teachers unions and the third thing I want to say is I worked in my time at King County as a public health nurse. I was on the child death review, and we reviewed unexpected deaths of kids under 18. We saw far too many suicides and homicides involving firearms. Most of those were unsecured. They found them in their parents' bedside drawer. They found them in the closet. They were playing. We need to stop that. We need to, first of all, ban assault weapons. Nobody needs one of those. And then we need to work for safe storage and better background checks because no kid should be shooting another kid. That's it. I had one second left. <laughs> Thank you, Lois. 
Is there a speaker against the, the motion to nominate Lois Shipper? Seeing none, we will move on. The next candidate to be nominated was Joe Nguyen. Joe? I yield my time. How's it going? Uh, my name is Joe Nguyen, and I'm running for state senate because I believe uh, all families in this district, uh, the district where I was born and raised, should have the opportunity uh, to achieve the American dream. My family fled a war torn in South Vietnam and were able to come here because unlike today, our leaders knew that immigrants are what makes America great. And we actually settled in White Center because we had access to good public housing. Uh, later on, my family moved to Burien, uh, where my father was actually in a car accident that rendered him quadriplegic. So we already had sparse finances, but that decimated uh, our savings. And because of that, we experienced firsthand the hardship of what it happens when you face a healthcare crisis like that. And that's why I want healthcare for all so bad. Yeah. Um, again, my family and I now live in West Seattle. I have two young kids, one and three. My wife was a former public school teacher in the Highland School District. Uh, I grew up here, born and raised. It's been fantastic getting to meet all the folks out door knocking. Uh, it's, been, it's been great because oftentimes the doors that we knock on were my old classmates or old family or old friends. So being able to represent this district means more than just uh, having an office. It's being able to represent and serve the family and the community that has given me so much. And despite growing up the way that we did and, and, and facing the hardships that we did, being in a position to give back and serve is an obligation. Because if you are a privilege to give back, you have to do it. I believe it's an obligation. Uh, but yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for the time. I appreciate the opportunity to speak, uh, and I hopefully can uh, earn your endorsement. Thank you. Is there a speaker against? Seeing none, we will move on. The next candidate to be nominated was Shannon Braddock. Do you yield your time? No. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Shannon. <laughs> it's one minute. We're going to switch off right now. I've got this time. I nominate Shannon because she's a woman of action. Through her public service, she's helped state workers when we were, when, who were living in poverty. She got Jay Inslee to come to the table with us and create a committee that are helping workers here in this community. When UW was trying to harm custodians, mostly Somalis, she got UW to come to the uh, King County Council testify and say they're going to quit harming these workers. With I-20 banning affirmative action, in her job she, would create, she helped create the policy, creating uh, priority hire so that King County can now put money in those economically stressed communities since we were no longer able to get, put money in uh, people with color. Shannon Braddock has done, uh, done so much for workers, for people of color, She's a woman of action, and that is why I'm proud to nominate Shannon Braddock. I yield the rest of my time. Thank you, Brooke. I'm Shannon Braddock. I'm really proud to be a member of the 34th District Democrats, to have been in this community for almost two decades. I, we, to be perfectly blunt, we have a lot of good progressive Democrats in this race. That is true. I believe I stand above those folks as the best candidate for the 34th District State Senator because of my perspective and because of my experience. I am a single working mom with three kids in Seattle Public Schools. We have seen what it means to bring women to the legislature. We have seen progressive policies get made. Working moms can make really effective progressive policy happen. I also have worked in our community for Westside Baby, serving on the board of Westside Baby, on the board of the West Seattle Food Bank. I'm really proud of that community involvement. And for the past eight years, I've worked on behalf of the 34th District, coalition building, helping bring effective people to the table with your county council member, Joe McDermott, and your King County Executive, Dow Constantine. I am experienced. I am ready on day one to work on effectively representing you in the state senate, and I'd appreciate your support tonight. Thank you. Is there a speaker against the nomination? Seeing none, we can move to a vote. Oh, oh, God, I'm 
I'm sorry. There is one more. I want to know, is this table on the first page of our newsletter current? Because uh, it, it, our requirement is that you have to have filled out the KCBCC questionnaire, and I'm seeing three candidates that have done that and four that have not. But, but if, if any of those four have, have, have already turned in their questionnaire, then the, they'd be eligible, right? They all four have... Oh, wait, actually, Lem, I'm not sure about you. Yes, he Okay. So the next candidate to be nominated was Lem Johnson. Lem, would you like, or who nominated Lem? I did, I did. Okay, thank you. I'll just be loud right here. Is that Hi, my name is Lem Charleston. I'm running for Senate for a bunch of reasons. And like was said earlier, there are a lot of fantastic candidates and a lot of brilliant people running for this position. I'd like to bring some experience to this uh, race and to my candidacy that I've got along the way. I spent my time as a Marine, and I risked my life for this country. I spent time as a pastor, about 16 years, making decisions back and forth on the intimate things with people. I spent time as a ECF trustee, handing out loans up and down the Puget Sound corridor. I currently wait, work as a Seattle police chaplain, seeing the best and the worst of times. I want to be able to bring those energies and that passion to the Senate because I see some changes that need to be made in our district. On one end, you got millionaires on the beach. They're paying sky-high property taxes. They're not happy about it. On the other end, you got people sleeping on the street in their 50s and 60s. You know they're not happy about it. There's a lot of things going wrong here, and I'm not satisfied with the district I live in, especially when I know we can all do something about it. Folks in this room have privy to democratic knowledge and the policies that most people outside here don't have. There are about 120, 125,000 people that don't have the energy or the information that you have. And who you represent or who you endorse tonight makes a difference in their lives. I would hope that I would earn your endorsement and your vote to take all my experience that I've had as a pastor, as a police chaplain, as a United States Marine, as a father, to be able to go to the Senate and do what exactly needs to be done for this district. I want to thank you for giving me a few minutes.